Hi, today we are going to discussing about general properties of central force motion. So the first property that is momentum conservation, angular momentum conservation. Let's prove the angular momentum in the case of central force of motion, the angular momentum of the object is conserved. So we know the angular momentum vector L equal to I omega, I means moment of inertia, omega angular velocity or L can be represented by in the terms of position vector and also the linear momentum that means vector L equal to vector R cross vector P where R is the position vector P is the linear momentum and if we differentiate the angular momentum with respect to time then we can rewrite this equation as dl dt equal to r cross dp by dt because the object is in moving in circular motion so there is only the one variable that is velocity because the linear momentum is equal to mass into velocity so mass is always constant and there is only one variable that is velocity of the object so dp by dt that means m dv by dt dv by dt means acceleration rate of change of velocity that is equal to acceleration that means dp by dt is equal to mass into acceleration so according to newton's law mass into acceleration equal to force so we got dp by dt is equal to force then here r cross dp by dt where dp by dt is force then we can replace this term by force so we got dl by dt equal to vector r cross vector f that means the first differential of angular momentum equal to the vector vector position vector cross force so r cross f that is torque then this can be rewrite as r cross r cap because the vector r can be represented by r dot r cap and cross the vector can be represented by f of r dot r cap so here r cap cross r cap that is equal to zero that means the torque equal to zero then torque is equal to dl by dt dl by dt is equal to torque here we got torque is equal to zero that means dl by dt is equal to zero this implies l is a constant value because when we differentiate a constant that gives equal to zero so we got l is a constant what it mean angular momentum is conserved angular momentum is constant means angular momentum is conserved so we prove the first general property of a central force motion that is angular momentum is conserved clear okay then we can discuss second general property of central force of motion 